please, please, please don't buy into the idea that you yourself need to be a subject matter expert and without being a subject matter expert, you can't be an effective project manager. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla and this is where we talk all about project leadership, project management, and working at startup organizations in general. If you're new here, I wanna welcome you and invite you to subscribe and ask you to let me know what questions you have about project management because I want to know how I can help you. Okay, on to today's topic. Today we're going to talk about a little bit of project leadership inspiration. And the reason why I want to do this is because I know some of you project managers out there are feeling maybe intimidated, maybe feeling a little less than because you're working with teams who are highly technical or maybe who have very deep domain knowledge. And that can be intimidating at times. I know I've been there as well. But what I want to tell you is that as a project manager, you don't need that knowledge. <laughs> you don't need that expertise. There are subject matter experts on your team for a reason. And as the project manager, and particularly if you are looking at getting into leadership, it can actually sometimes serve as a weakness, the more uh, subject matter expertise that you have. And I've seen it happen. I've seen it happen where people who have gone from being subject matter experts to put in leadership positions, it could be really challenging for them because they're so used to being in the weeds and in the details and what they learn is that to pull themselves out and to actually lead projects or lead teams, you have to see things from a different angle. You have to see things from a different perspective. And when we get so in the weeds or so you know bogged down with the details, it can really hold us back from leading a team forward and moving the project forward. So as a project manager, of course, it's absolutely important that you understand what the project is about. You understand what people are doing. Um, you understand how to have conversations with people and you can have effective communication. But please, please, please don't buy into the idea that you yourself need to be a subject matter expert and without being a subject matter expert, you can't be an effective project manager. I know there are some circles that sort of preach that and there may be, you know, certain industries where that is the case. But what I have seen in most situations is that the really good project managers, the really effective project managers, actually don't have that domain knowledge. They don't have that subject matter expertise and they are able to um, more effectively pull themselves out from the details and see things from like an overall team view. So just a little bit of inspiration and encouragement for you here. And so my personal inspiration for this topic is a woman named Ella Brennan. And if you haven't heard of Ella Brennan, I highly recommend you look her up. There's a documentary about her on Netflix. She's got an autobiography. Um, really interesting woman, really interesting leader. And um, she has since passed away, but Ella Brennan was a famous restaurateur in New Orleans and did all sorts of um, made all sorts of decisions that were sort of unheard of at the time not only because she was a woman but also just unheard of in the culinary world she changed things up in a way that really put her on the map and helped her become successful but one of the most interesting things about Ella Brennan is she's not a trained chef. She's actually not a chef at all. She actually doesn't even cook at all, <laughs> and which I think is, is really interesting and great because what she decided for herself is she really wanted to pour herself into the leadership of the restaurant and the leadership of the team. And so she very much trusted the chefs and all of the people that were in the kitchen and she gave them a lot of respect. And because of that, they gave her a lot of respect back, but there was no expectation that she should be able to go in there and cook those dishes because she was seeing things from um, such a, a, a bigger point of view than than just the dish and the respect that went both ways from the kitchen to her and back is really just um it's so inspirational and it helps me see when I hear stories like this about really amazing leaders who are able to lead teams, it's really more about your soft skills than it is about those details and that domain knowledge. So as a project manager, I wanna encourage you. And first of all, I wanna let you know that this is a totally normal thing to feel. But second, don't let it stop you. Don't let it stop you because there are so many amazing leaders out there who um, are just like you. So I hope this is helpful to you and I'll see you next time. Bye.